Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is TrophyNet, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. Um, we're still on the, um, well, how should we call this? The cable lift towards the soldier's field. And Elizabeth is trying to pull the lever, and I'm just gonna, just gonna stop her over there. So she's uh, clearly afraid of us at the moment because we, well, we killed a lot of people right in front of her. And let's pull the lever and talk this out. dead you killed those people elizabeth I... you're a monster what did you think was going to happen hmm? what do you understand the expense the people went through to keep you locked up in that tower you think people like that are just going to let you walk away you are an investment and you will not be safe until you are far away from here what else? What do they want from me? I don't know. But that's the last time anyone gets the drop on me. Yeah, because we still have that gaping hand. wound in our hand. Uh, what happened back there? Uh, it's not the last of it, is it? I don't know. There. Thank you, Elizabeth. So that's kind of the only reason I, uh, I decided to go with the stabbing in the hand decision. Because the other way, you don't get stabbed in the hand. You know, I've read a thing or two about medicine. I do my best to keep you supplied with remedies. And if your wounds are deeper, I'll try to keep you on this side of the abyss. Which is actually almost literal, the way she uh, says it. Because if you, I don't know if this is going to happen, but if you die, she literally pulls you back up. And, uh very special way um let's see here so we're now at soldiers field so uh, another another interesting um uh, well, tourist attraction i always almost would say uh which is mainly focused on uh, again trying to indoctrinate every little kit they can i don't really need anything health related someone was sitting here this is an, uh, an interesting corner as well someone was sitting here with a shotgun shooting seagulls out of the sky for some reason yeah that's that's perfectly Colombia style I suppose and as you can see we're starting to find a lot more money as well every time we find silver eagles they're uh, 20 plus so uh, yeah the entrance to soldiers field I'm just gonna take a look around so that I miss nothing because most of this game is looting I hate to say it but a lot of this game is looting uh, aside from the shooting and everything but it's an important part of the game so Let's go again outside of Battleship Bay. It's not again outside of Battleship Bay, but this is the first time we can actually leave the area proper. So we're in a, a bit of trouble though, because of course we've lied to Elizabeth already. We are here, uh, if you remember, we're here to take her away. We're taking, taking her away to the man that uh, we're indebted to. Um, which makes this a bit weird. We told her we're gonna go to Paris, but of course we're not going to. And then right at the door, of course, the shock jockey uh, breaks down and the door closes. And now we can't leave. The gate shut up tight. Now how are we going to get to the airship? Let me see if I can get that gate open by hand. Uh, we could do that, but I'm first going to take a look around here because there's a few interesting things around here as well. Um, so give me a second and I'll just tell you if I uh, find anything interesting. So here we go, first interesting thing are lockpicks, so two lockpicks over here, a lockpicking kit right next to the Minuteman's Armory, which is also a first because we haven't seen those yet. You found the lockpick, there are far f here are five more for playing Industrial Revolution, okay. So now we have seven lockpicks immediately already because we're going to be able to use those in a second. Um, I'm found still using, uh, you did? Okay, catch. Thanks. So that's very, very handy because we're going to be able to spend that over here because this uh, thing just adds more uh, weapon upgrades. So uh, the first thing we can buy is a pistol clip size increase, which is going to be handy. So there we go. Pistol clip size increased by 50%. And as you can see, there are two more upgrades to be found as well. But that's our first weapon upgrade. Does that give us a trophy? Doesn't look like that's going to give us a trophy. Soldier's Field, built in 1903 by the hand of interest as a prophet having a bunch of carnies and carousels the place is themed to acquaint children with national service you mean the military indeed the child in the way he should go even when he is old he will 
not depart from it. Oh, did you write that? No. No, she didn't. I'm actually not sure who who actually did, but that's interesting. So this is an amusement park. Park just as I said before, mainly used to get the children into the military. So let's take a look at another kinetoscope. A city in the sky, impossible. Well, of course not. The great lady of science shows off her wonders. That sounds very ambiguous. So there we have Lutes again. How does that darn thing fly? Rockets? Balloons? Well, quantum mechanics, says the little lady. We say it's more like women's intuition. So yeah, we already kind of knew that, that Lutes was responsible for, because uh, we saw that statue, our Lutes gave the city's city its wings. Which is, of course, indicating that she uh, she's responsible for uh, well getting Columbia in the sky. Forcing it open. We could, we could, Elizabeth, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Cause I just want to loot this place a bit more. Uh, Cause there's another very interesting thing over here. Normally, mm. I think there's just enough lockpicks to open this up. Oh no, that. no, one pick required. This. There that we go. Take but a minute. There we go. So that's one lockpick it requires, but I think there's going to be a safe in there, which requires Ready. multiple lockpicks to open up. But we still have seven because of the DLC, which is kind of cheating, in my opinion. But uh, let's take a look around in here. I'm going to try and cut out the looting as most as I can, uh, as much as I can. But here we go, another infusion. Let's go with shields again. Just with the dark. Because door. again, shields are our first line of defense, which makes it the uh, most important part of our defense. And then if we go over here there should be yeah a safe so this requires five lock picks. We tell them we got lost looking for the bathroom and that works not usually no <laughs> okay then so usually uh normally you wouldn't be able to open this up immediately immediately because up until now we only found four lock picks um one is used to open up the door and then uh the other three are just a startup to getting uh to this point this looks important yeah, we're gonna pick up the voxophone and listen to that. Days at Comstock House was simple. Hard work, sure, but simple. Wringing the linen, scrubbing the floors. <laughs> Lady Comstock, she even had a kind word now and then. Almost enough to make me think I had a place in their world. <laughs> God made foolish girls so he could have something to play with. So that is interesting. So Daisy Fitzroy originally worked for Lady Comstock, but something changed. Uh, we don't know yet what that is, but something clearly has this changed. Right up your alley. Let's open up the something safe. Challenging. All yours. Thank you very much. So now we can search that, and there's a whopping 289 silver eagles in there, which uh, always makes this uh, makes this worth our while. So let's get back outside and open up the gate, because I think we saw. Most of it over here. Yeah, racial impu uh, purity. We know, we know. So let's open up the gate over here and get out of this place. Because I think I checked that out already. Did I go behind the counter here? I did, didn't I? I did. Sorry. Let's open up the gate. Three, two, one. With a hole in our hands, we don't seem to mind. There we go. Jockey. Who needs the power company? Some fool's alternative to electricity. Doesn't seem to work very well. Nope, not all the time it seems. So we also picked up the carbine, this lovely thing, which is a... Uh... Oh, ah, that was kind of a waste. Luckily, there's a salt machine over here. I was trying to... Put that yeah, there away. We go. There we go. I can aim with, uh, with the sights. I knew I could aim with the sights. There goes the there airship. Firstly, looks like it's heading for the dock. That will take us to Paris. Just stay I close. Think yes, it Mr. Will. Call me Booker. Oh, uh, all right, Booker. Can I actually take put away my weapon? Gondola, or take a look around the boardwalk. We're gonna take a look around a the like boardwalk. This, much we'd find useful. Yeah, but we're gonna have to be careful because there's uh people know who we are right now, so we have to be careful with what we do. Then within Duke's ice cream shop, with an extra P and E for some reason. Might be how they uh... ice cold Colombian ice cream is a culinary marvel. So from now on, every time we start yourself. we start to steal something from a residential area as this like this one, we're gonna get uh, everybody on our necks. And when I came to Washington, there were few in Congress who saw my vision for Colombia. 
but it is the burden of the prophet to bring the wicked to righteousness. For what am I, if not a mirror to reflect the face of God? So there we go, another uh, bit of propaganda by uh, Father Comstock. Mighty Songbird patrols the skies. Fear not, good citizens of Colombia. Because the songbird is uh, there for you, I think. The true patriot has nothing to fear from the songbird. There we go. So songbird is... Uh, I imagine they were interested in meeting you. No doubt for lockpicking lessons. Why you? I never even heard of this place before I got here. Huh. I assumed Columbia was common knowledge below. Guess I got a bit behind with current events. So that is interesting. Elizabeth thinks that Columbia is, well, uh, common knowledge. But I think by the time we get to Columbia, it uh, kind of has been forgotten or, uh, well, maybe purposely forgotten. Because, of course, it's such a power that the American government wouldn't want the people to know about its existence. Um... Let's continue to take a look around. I think there's a few things closed off because I think we're eventually gonna have to go to the Hall of Heroes. After a moment of silent prayer for the victims of today's brutality. You hold on to this. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. More Thanks. money. I what think. are you, Mr. DeWitt? Some sort of I'm a uh, independent contractor. Used to work for the Pinkertons and such. Not something you'd want gracing a resume. Pinkertons? Weren't they the ones they'd call in to settle things when the workers took to striking? Settle? Oh, that's a word for it. Because, yeah, the Pinkertons were used to uh, violently shut down uh, strikes like that. Uh, I don't know what happens if I use possession. I think we're far enough away, because we shouldn't really do that when there's civilians around. Now, we could go for Devil's Kiss 8, and I think I'm going to go for it even. Because that's very, very interesting. That adds mini clusters for greater area of effect and range and damage. There we go. Uh, anything else here? I could, of course, go for the Vial of Salts. And there we have our next lockpick. So, uh, building up towards the amount you would need for the safe in the, uh, well, in the station. Let's continue on. It doesn't seem like the people cared that I used it. Uh, they would care if I used it on the dollar bill machine over there because we're too close to everybody. Uh, anything here? No. So, Mr. DeWitt, is there a woman in your life? There was. She died. How? Giving birth. Oh. You have a child? No. So, no. So, uh, we already know there was somebody called Anna in Booker's life. We don't know if that's his uh, his child or his wife, but uh, right now he indicates that there uh, might not be a child because his wife died in childbirth, so we don't know if the child was actually alive or not. Another one of Lutes. When I was a girl, I dreamt of standing in a room looking at a girl who was and was not myself, who stood looking at another girl who also was and was not myself. My mother took this for a nightmare. I saw it as the beginning of a career in physics. There we get, go again with the, the principle of Schrodinger's cat with the uh, double states that people can be in because you don't know what state they are in. So if you look at yourself in the mirror, it might be or it might not be you at the same time. So this guy is, play, is uh, well, wearing a Duke costume and he's, uh, well, kind of down on his luck. He doesn't really care anymore about the work at the moment. Um, so there we go, that's the gondola to towards the first lady airship, where we'll have to go eventually. And now, this is interesting, so the, the Dimwit and Duke Hello yourself. Keep souvenir your shop, so see them. indeed, because at the end of the shop here, you have the working heater replica. You can steal this weapon, but then everybody's gonna be mad at you, but right now I'm just not gonna do that, I'm just gonna take a look around. <gasps> Ah, I see you found our best seller. Indeed, because the big songbird uh, plushie is apparently very, very popular. Another uh, gate that's closed, but it looks like it should be powered by Shock Jockey, but it isn't. Um, can't, can't really do anything about it just yet. Let's continue on. And there we have uh, the merry-go-round. Carousel. <laughs> Someone gave it to me, I promise. I ain't never smoked one before. 
Hey, smoke him if you got him, pal. I ain't no gendarme. No. Thank you, sir. There we go. Smoke him while you got him. Which, uh, yeah, Booker clearly doesn't doesn't agree with uh, Comstock's uh, ideas about the uh, other races. Back in five minutes. Well, that's annoying. So that means we probably are not able to get on this uh, gondola over here. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, there's a bunch of and again, that breaks down. Looks like this runs exclusively on shock jockey. Of course it does. Where in the hell are we gonna find that? Look, come see the future of power at the Hall of Heroes. Yes, huh. indeed. Well, that's convenient. That's very convenient, probably because Booker, you're in a video game. Gentlemen, the false shepherd is loose in the streets of our fair city. Will you suffer the shame of allowing your wives and your daughters to fall prey to his machinations? Or will you act? Act for your women folk. Act for your prophet. Act. So there we go. There's uh, an announcer talking about the fact that the false shepherd is is running around here, and now they know who, where we are. He's hiding. Are they firing at Elizabeth? Just gonna try and get a, a correct angle here. Big game right there. Was that the butcher? The fuck? You'll die. Ow. Just gonna try with Devil's Kiss here. That's in the face. Yeah, maybe start aiming. Don't let him aim. Yeah, indeed. Don't let me aim. God damn it. So let's take a look around because there might be more of them. Because usually the music stops when everybody's dead. There we go. So the carbine is uh, the first longer range weapon we uh, we can find. And I'm actually wondering whether I can now check out that heater replica or if this store is actually closed. Because right now, yeah, the lid is off so we don't really care about anything here anymore. I thought there was a cash register over here. Steal from cash register. Well, there's not much in there. But this thing is interesting. Um, let's pick it up for now because it's a sort of uh, power, more powerful shotgun. Um, since we're running out of bullets anyway, I might actually just go with this for now. Here we go. Let's go to the Hall of Heroes, because that's where we need to go next. Um, which is, of course, at the corner over there. Because we've seen it already. Um, let's go for possession again. And activate it on the uh, dollar bill machine. Because that drops us a bit of money as well. I think that was about 10 silver eagles again. But now, let's go towards the Hall of Heroes. And there won't be a line to get in. One. Uh, button, button, button. Where's the button? There's the button! Luckily, Booker has a sixth sense regarding buttons. And there we have another poster for the songbirds. Is something wrong? Uh, nothing I can't fix. Yeah, uh, there we go. Investigate the fuse box. Um, let's pull that open. And see what's wrong here. There are a few extra fuses in here. <gasps> oh, it's a bee. I, I hate these things. Jeez, oh, just kill it. No, it'll sting me. Elizabeth. I have a better idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, wh I'm what are you doing? Opening a tear. Whoa, shit. <sighs> what is that? It's a tear. I used to open them all the time in my tower. What is a tear? It's like a a, a window. A window to another world. Most of the time, their doll is dishwater, a 
different colored towel or tea instead of coffee. But sometimes, sometimes I see something amazing and I pull it through. There. Good God. I don't suppose you've got an airship in there? I don't think so. But there is. There, uh -oh. there is something. I... There's songbirds. <sighs> oh no! Close it. I, I'm trying! Close it! <sighs> And that is fitting, because it ends on the poster. Um, so yeah, we, we saw her uh, there. But it sure doing that looks before. Like a shortcut to getting us killed. But I could help. I can handle whatever comes along. Trust me. Have it your way, I suppose. Because she can actually help, but right now Booker doesn't seem inclined to get, uh, well, Elizabeth's help. Um, so that was interesting. We saw her do that a few times before. Uh, opening up a tear is what she calls it. That's those uh, weird phenomenon that has been have been springing up around Colombia, um, and is what is used to uh, get to another dimension. Opening up tears to another world, to another time and place. Because we've seen that to happening the sky, in the tower already. Bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy an Eden floating in the mist. By man forsworn, by heaven kissed. There we go, again one of those motorized patriots. Um, I'm gonna go with Devil's Kiss again, just because I can. Uh, there's another one over here, but I'm just looking for... There we go. Can you take a look at this lock? Seems easy enough. There we go, I'm just gonna take the salts here as well. Done. And let's head inside. So we do have three uh, lockpicks left. It's gonna get closer. Let's uh, use this thing. Doesn't seem like all that powerful, actually. There we go. In the face. Well, as far as um, a turret has a face. Well, let's look at the gear. Last man standing when very low on health. Killing an enemy gives health. Not really interesting, but let's take it nonetheless. I'm just gonna loot this place a bit. And I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, never mind. There's a voxophone here from Captain Cornelius Slate. I two score years of soldiering, and every heathen land I've known has less people for my passing. I hated no special enemy. Until now. Comstock. He's made a vaudeville travesty of my battles, and cast himself as the White Knight. I called him out over it, and he stripped me of my rank. Has never seen the savage face of war, but he will. But he will. So Captain Cornelius Slade says that Comstock has defiled the, well, not really the memory, but the uh, the glory of the battle he, the battles he has fought. So he's claiming that Comstock is, uh, well, taking credit for battles he hasn't even fought in. So that includes the battle at uh, Wounded Knee that we've heard about before, even when uh, when Booker uh, probably has fought in the same war, because we saw that in the box he uh, first saw at the very beginning of the game. Much so there obliged. we go, bloody footprints. The statue has been pulled down, so indicating that Cornelius Slate is probably around here somewhere. Um, there's another little lockpick over here, so that's four. We need one more to open up the safe, and maybe we can find one in here. Oh, this guy's just, just, this guy's just taking a piss. But yeah, sorry, dude. And there's one. There we go. Because he was uh, carrying a shotgun to, with him on the in the bathroom. Uh, nothing in here aside from, yeah, wallet. There we go. Oh, since when do I need to search a wallet? Usually I just take wallets. Maybe I might have out of uh, wallet space. Let's head towards the other side. Because if we would find another lockpick now, that would be very handy. Nothing in there. Although, yeah, just <laughs> was just thinking, usually when it says search again, we didn't really take anything. Another purse with a bit of money. And look over there, we have another very interesting thing. This must be my favorite of the uh, Vigors. A bucking bronco. Let's uh, drink it up. I love these bottles as well. 
And another very, very gruesome uh, animation with the hands. It looks like the flesh is peeling off. There we go. Bucking Bronco. Press to launch your enemies into the air. Hold and release to create an eruptive trap. The cool thing about Bucking Bronco is that it's probably the vigor you can use the most with your uh, amount of salts you have. When we strike, we will teach Cornelius Slate a lesson. Ow. I know you've all come to Who's think that? Slate is some kind of war hero. <laughs> there we go, another gig up the trap, taking five people along with it. And that takes out most of the people here. There's another third over there. Get him out of there. Oh, 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 oh. They also take a bit more damage when they're in the air. I'm just gonna take cover over here on the left because there's a lot of enemies in here. Just gonna have to be careful here. There he is. There's actually a few hooks here as well, so I'm actually gonna take advantage of that. Uh, boop. What the hell? There's a crew man, another zealot over here. You had this come. Okay, so he's not gonna come down unless I do, I think. Come on, trap him! I think that's pretty much it. Aside from the crows. There we go. Vigorous opposition. Think that's it? Yeah, that's there we go. Thought. I think those tears of yours might come in handy next time we're in a scrape. Well, there has to be a tear around for me to use. I can't just pull them out of thin air. Indeed, there has to be a tear around for me to use. So we have to see something in the environment and then uh, make her aware of it. Uh, let's go with possession again. Taking up all the money. And this is another one of those uh, Minutemen machine. Machines, which increases damage here in ooh, RPG. We don't have an RPG yet. But I think I'm gonna go for the damage boost in the carbine, which is always handy. Maybe an accuracy boost for the machine gun. It's 512. Let's let's just hold off on that just now. Um, e bon bon, so I think we're fully up on health Need though. Money? Yeah, always. Thank you very much. Got it. That was quite a bit. That was over a hundred. Huh. It's only fair they give me a cut of the profits, don't you think? Yeah, I think uh, it would be fair. So let's what? open this up. Elizabeth? That won't take but a minute. So let's open that up. Another employees only All area. Yours. I see a lockpick over there. Yeah, lockpick indeed. So Elizabeth also uh, oh. keeps you appraised of anything that might be of interest. So uh, a silver eagle bag with a lot of money. Let's look at the gear. Deadly lung lungers. Melee strike range increased by three times. Um, is that instead of Headmaster? Yeah, I'm just gonna take in. Because usually the most interesting things are on the pants, for some reason. I didn't, I didn't choose that, but for some reason most interesting effects are on the pants. Let's go back outside, and I think there's an interesting item over here next to the cannon. Uh, where is it? I thought it was here. Oh, on the cannon, yeah, there we go. Pick up the code book. <gasps> it's a code book for a cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Secret codes. The cipher should be around somewhere. And of course I know where that cipher is, but we're gonna do that in a second. So we need to find the Vox code now that we have a code book for it. Because of course we're nothing with a code book if you don't have anything to decipher it with. So uh, we're gonna head towards the opposite side after I just cleared out everything here. Another Voxophone. 
God makes all kinds of soldiers, but he only made one Cornelius Slate. My father followed him up San Juan Hill, through the legations in Peking, and as he put it, through hell the order was given. At today's muster, Slate asked me if I was Sergeant Monroe's daughter. I said, yes, sir, I am. Slate said, your father always wanted a son. I hope the fool has wisdom enough to recognize his good fortune. There we go. So uh, Captain Vivian Monroe uh, works for Cornelius Slate, the uh, military man What's we've that? heard about Slate. before. I actually know the fella. Seems he's still got a knack. See, so uh, that's interesting. So uh, Booker knows Cornelius Slate, indicating that, of course, they fought together in the war at Wounded Knee. Found some money. Want it? Catch, Mr. DeWitt. Up, we'll hear our voice. His Ugh. temple shall burn, and his idols of gold will melt and run in rivulets through the streets of Colombia. Hmm. So, uh, you can see a lot of dead people in here. It's because this was in Vox Populi Outpost, or a hideout at least. And, uh, yeah, they were brutally murdered over here. Although the Vox got a few kills in as well, as you can see. And there's another uh, voxophone in here from Sergeant Leander Manley. There were contraband guns hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find them, but funny thing, we found some old uniforms under the floorboards from the war. <laughs> Took guesses as to why they were there, but who's there? You're Slate, right? Sir, put the guns down! <laughs> Did you hear that, Comstock? That is the sound you have never heard. The sound of a soldier's end. Come to your hall of heroes. Prove me a liar. So there we go. Slate killed this officer. And then, uh, well, posted up that message for Comstock to find. We didn't. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna take that message to Comstock himself if we can. And there we have the uh, cipher. Hey. No, this is the cipher, right? Look, look. That's what the code book deciphers. I'm sure of it. Huh. Let's see. Tip the hat to the Vox. Well, there must be more to this place than meets the eye. Yes, indeed. Because if we go to the next, uh, to the next over bathroom, there's a shiny hat over here we can tip. tip there we go. The and that opens up the back of the toilet. So let's take a look around in here, because there's a few uh, nice items in here. Usually those uh, code ciphering thingies have a lot of items. So as you can see, there is a lot of stuff here. So let's start, start with the Voxophone. Daisy Fitzroy. I've read about her. Books say she's out to tear Columbia from the sky. Everybody's got a dream. I don't want to be a part of their culture, their politics, their people. The sun is setting on their world, and soon enough, all they gonna see is the dark. So there we go, an angry Daisy Fitzroy. Um, let's pick up the infusion over here and boost up our health again. I feel better already. I feel better already, indeed, because we, uh, of course, boosted his health. Another lockpick, almost getting us back to five, which is what we want. And we're almost at the coins and the cushion trophy. Which is something I want, of course. Not called Trophy Nut for nothing. And I think that's pretty much it. I could go for a shotgun banana. We have the RPG. I'm gonna go for that for now. Um, and then let's get back outside so we can get onto the station. Uh, it's gonna have to be... Yeah, they respawned. Well, not respawned. They uh, started to investigate. Is that it? Or are there more? Yeah, there might be more outside. But I think that's triggered by uh, opening up the cipher. There's a lot of empty corpses here. There we go. And that's all of them. Which is handy, is this? More silver eagles. And now, before we go towards the Hall of Heroes over there with the giant Comstock statue, we're gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're gonna go up there. Uh, so see you guys next time. Or not, I'm gonna can't save yet, so uh, we're gonna have to continue for a bit longer. Well, I suppose we could take those skylines above us. 
I just need to find a way to clear up that cargo first. So I don't have a checkpoint there yet, so I'm gonna actually add this to the episode if I can. This uh, let's pull the lever. And she found a skyhook of her own. Indeed. So we're moving uh, away the cargo. Find some ammunition lying around. I sure could use it. When it was trouble. It'll take some scrounging, but I'll do my best. So from now on, Elizabeth will also f try to find ammo for us. And now that the skyline is clear, we can actually access it. And here we go. So I don't know where the checkpoint is gonna put us. But I think for now there won't be any. Uh, can I actually access that area over there already? No. It's gonna be for later on. So let's swap skylines. And go all the way up. Oh. And let's land over here. Yeah, there we go. Now we have a checkpoint. So uh, when we get back, we're gonna continue over here. And try to find Cornelius Slate. Because he's supposed to uh, be hiding out around here. So see you guys next time. Goodbye. Yeah,